Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today as we spend these moments in devotion with our Good Shepherd. I read today from John chapter 6 and it's a longer section that you could read on your own from verse 41 through verse 51. I'm just going to focus on one particular verse. The Jews then murmured at Jesus because he said, I am the bread of life which came down from heaven. Prepare by eating bread. You probably know the story. The people of France were grumbling against the poverty they endured and the wealth the royalty enjoyed. And when told about the people not having bread to eat, Marie Antoinette naively said, let them eat cake. She lost her head over that comment. Yet, spiritually, people want to eat cake, not bread. They want the sweet, but not the staple. They want the junk food, not the nourishing food. They want something that, with no effect melts in their mouth and they don't have to chew. The truth is people have murmured at Jesus for a lot less than saying he is the bread of life come down from heaven. People murmur about his miracles, his teachings, his divine claims. Jesus goes on to talk about eating his flesh and drinking his blood which would not have been just crass, but prohibited. In Judaism, blood was believed to contain life, so that eating the blood of an animal, not to mention a human, was totally forbidden. And yet that's what Jesus intended to say. When we believe in him, we are spiritually eating his flesh and drinking his blood. We do indeed eat and drink his very life. We ingest him, and, we, and he becomes one with our flesh and blood. Jesus goes on to say that if you don't eat his flesh and his blood, you don't have his life in you. Jesus intends to speak just this concretely about his life and how it is that he lives in us. Although Jesus is not speaking about the Lord's Supper here in John 6, he is speaking about faith in him. To eat and drink Jesus' body and blood is a figurative way of saying we have to have him become a part of our sinew, our bone, ourselves, becoming our very life. This is what it means that Jesus became incarnate at Bethlehem and that he continues to incarnate himself for us on the altar so that we experience his risen presence, not figuratively, not symbolically, but really, actually present for us. Lent is a good time to meditate and reflect on the real presence of Christ in the sacrament of the altar. During the Lord's Supper, Ponder the meaning of Jesus incarnate for us. What does it mean for you that Jesus is physically present in the sanctuary with, each, with us each week? How do we act, live, knowing that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is bone of our bones and flesh of our flesh? Join me in prayer. Lord, our God, we thank you for the bread of life come down from heaven, and we give thanks for the real presence of Jesus with us each week. Through that same Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, my friends, prepare by eating bread, the bread of life, and make him a part of your life.